हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू फिजियो क्वेश्चन सीजन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस वीक क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इंफॉर्मेशन वाज गिवन वाज समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट पेशेंट वाज डूइंग स्कीइंग एंड ड्यूरिंग दैट वेलगर्स फोर्स वाज अप्लाइड ऑन लेफ्ट नी After which, when diagnosed, patient was confirmed with the McMurray's test positive, Lechman test positive, and patient is going for conservative management. And physiotherapist has to decide that which exercise has to be given in subacute phases. Now, my dear friends, why I am emphasizing on subacute phases? Conservative phase, Lechman test, McMurray's test, because these are the important factors in this question. Now, let me make it more clear. so according to the information given in the question we know that patient had some injury some trauma in the left knee which was because of valgus stress force okay so because of valgus stress force and now we are finding out the lechman test is positive which confirms that acl injury is there mcmurray is positive that again confirms that it is something affecting with the meniscus injury now this somewhere looks like a unhappy triad unhappy triad is what so in a unhappy triad we know that there will be acl injury there will be medial meniscus injury as well as there will be medial collateral ligament injury and this situation is exactly like that now this was about the information given in the question now let's see what and also yeah one more thing to forget not to forget is subacute phase physiotherapy conservative management sub acute phase is almost after 15 days of acute phase so basically all the pain swelling everything is gone and after that we start with the sub acute management okay so the option given here are two options we have been given in the open kinematic chain exercises and two options in close kinematic chain exercises now here we again have to be very sure that in sub acute phases our target is to gain muscle control and here the most important thing in unhappy triad is that we have to gain maximum control over the quadriceps as well as hamstring muscle and also we have to make sure that complete range of motion is there i know that with this idea you know what is the correct answer but let's go through the all the answers so option number a says that there is open kinematic chain exercises what we are going to give for quadriceps femoris as well as hip abductor muscle for preventing more anterior translation of the tibia now my dear friends we need to understand one thing here that when you are performing open kinematic chain exercises especially for quadriceps and hamstring muscle that is not really going to affect you for this condition and this is not going to prevent your anterior translation of the tibia because in open kinematic chain exercises actually you are performing the anterior translation of the tibia only so how it is going to prevent it right so that is why this answer cannot be correct Again, option number B: close kinematic chain exercises for what is a femoris and hip abductors. Now, here we need to understand what is the role of hip abductors because already we know that valgus stress was applied. Valgus stress means something going away from the midline, right? So, uh, abductors are something which are going to give more valgus force. So, if you are strengthening abductors, what we are trying to do is we are going to give more valgus force, and that is going to injure more uh, fibers of the ligaments. So, that again has to be avoided. So, this answer also cannot be correct. Option number C: close kinematic chain exercises for quadriceps and hamstrings. Now, this really makes more sense because control of quadriceps and hamstring. like strength ratio of quadriceps hamstring is very much important in such conditions where we have to maintain the equilibrium in which so that we can maintain the anterior translation of the tibia as well and close kinematic means we are not promoting any anterior translation we are just controlling the movement so that is why this answer is more suitable in compared to previous two but let's see what is there in the question answer number 4 or option d and option number d is that we are going to strengthen the hamstring and hip extensors in open kinematic chain activities now this option is not completely wrong but again we need, i need to remind you that the question says that which is the best treatment in subacute phase for this particular patient and this cannot be the best one but option c is the best one for because i just explained you how so that is why my dear friends for this question option c was the correct answer those who have answered option c kudos to you and congratulations to you and those who couldn't answer don't worry about it you just missed something in that and i am sure that with this explanation now you are clear that how the answer can be option c 
for more quiz your quest series and more quiz your quest question just wait for the next friday i'll come up with the next question and next sunday with the answer and explanation of it till then stay tuned with the quiz your trends